Ready? Yes. All right, welcome to Teal House Farm. And today we are packing our hospital bag for the new baby and the go bag for the kids. Um, I probably should have done this a couple weeks ago, but I've had enough babies to know my babies are always running a little late and I really wasn't in a hurry. So we're gonna take care of it today though. Ivy is going to help me. I did a massive load uh, of laundry the last two days, just cleaning like everything that we had in the laundry baskets. And then I sorted it this afternoon and pulled out things I thought we might want to pack. So we're going to take this opportunity to pack instead of putting all that laundry away and having to pull it out. But we're going to show you what we pack in our hospital bag. I'm very minimalist when it comes to hospital bags for delivery. And we'll show you how we keep all six kids stuff organized um, in a suitcase wow. that's going to get sent to grandma's house with them. They'll stay at grandma's for a few days. And basically how we kind of pack up a large family on the go, but keep it organized and really keep it to a minimum so that you don't feel like you're taking the whole house with you. Before you turn that off, yeah. uh, it does not stay organized until the end of the trip. Oh, I'm sure it doesn't, but it arrives organized. Yes. Then what happens from there is other people's okay. problems. Yeah. All right, okay. let's go. Woo! Well, they almost made it to the table, but we eventually got them all up there and then we're going to need to sort them. So I just kind of tried to keep track while I was doing the laundry and pulling things out, but we'll see what we actually ended up with. I'm sure somebody's got too much of something and somebody's missing something. Ivy helps me take the big pile and we separate it into six different piles for each kid. And we're basically looking to make sure everybody's got a pair of jimmies, got two outfits, got underwear, socks, things like that. Um, I did try to keep in mind what the girls like to wear. That's one of the reasons that I did this with the laundry because it was things that have been worn recently so that they're all happy with what they've got. I do let the older girls go through what I picked to make sure they like what was packed since I know fashion is important when you get to be a tween. Then I want to pre-pack medication for Annie. So I just picked up a new bottle for her from the store. So I actually take the old bottle and I make sure it's got four days worth of her seizure medicine in it. And then we pack that in the bag. So we don't have to worry about that. I put a syringe in for her liquid medicine, but I can't pack that until it's go time. So I'm going to leave myself a note. I make a note for grandma and grandpa about the dosage and what time of day she needs to make sure she takes her medication. We put that all together. And we also pack her rescue medication in case she needs it. And then I make myself a list of things that we still need. Okay, I think we got the kids stuff organized. I'll show you what we're packing and then we will, I'll show you how I pack it in the bag to keep it from getting disorganized as soon as you see on the suitcase up. Again, there are six guy, little guys in our house. I call them little guys, they're all not little anymore, but the youngest is two and the oldest is 10, almost to 11. And so what I did, everybody got the same thing clothes-wise. They have one pair of jammies. They have two outfits. They will spend probably three days at Grandma's and Grandpa's house. That's the plan. Um, and so I'll pack two outfits and a pair of jammies, and then they'll have the clothes if they're wearing two, and that should be plenty. Um, and if they end up needing to stay a little bit longer for some reason, they, you know, things can always be washed. And so for Pat, we just have... a just an unopened package of diapers and we'll grab them some wipes and there we go and I only pack one pair of socks per kid which I know might sound funny but they'll wear a pair of socks there most likely they will not go anywhere we'll leave our van with grandma in case she wants to take them all somewhere um but six kids she had a whole bunch of kids Sam's is the oldest of seven but six kids is a lot to take anywhere so chances are they'll probably be spending the time at home where it's a little easier to contain everybody so they'll have socks they're wearing and then an extra pair because the chances are they'll be running around barefoot. My kids will not keep socks on unless they have shoes on. For Isla, she is three and a half, almost four. So again, jammies, she's got two outfits and I make sure to pack um, a pair of shorts for under her dress, two pairs of underwear. And then she wears a overnight, um, these are like training pants underwear. I can, link them below if you're interested but sometimes she still has a little bit of an accident at night if she's just really tired and so we have her wear these instead of having to buy pull-ups because pull-ups are stupid expensive and a pack of these costs as much as a pack of pull-ups and I think there were six or seven in the pack and then they could just be washed and 
I would say 29 out of 30 nights in a month, she does not have an accident, but she will one time, and these will save the mattress. So, and then one pair of socks. And then, same thing for JJ. She's got a pair of jammies. She's got two outfits. She has shorts for under her skirts, two pairs of underwear, and a pair of socks. That's not for her. And for Annie, same thing outfit-wise. And she's got her special socks, and she wears a, a leg brace, and that needs to be tall. And we also have her medication with instructions. And then I've left a note for myself that I'm going to tape on the top of the suitcase to remind myself that I need to pack her liquid medicine, which I can't really dose out before because I don't have an extra container for it. So we just have to put the whole bottle in there. So she has two medicines. And then she has her emergency medication if there should be an, a need for that. Hopefully not um, while we're gone. Same thing, big girls and the big girls, they got to check out the outfits I picked for them. I could switch some things out, which is totally fine. So they're packing things that they think that they want to wear while they're at grandma's house. I do not pack any toys or books or blankies or anything like that. That's just too much to have to keep track of for grandma and grandpa to have to keep track of while they're there. Um, sometimes we send pillows if they need us to send extra pillows since it is a lot of kids. So I'll have to ask them to see if we need to send any pillows, but I'll leave myself a note again on the suitcase about how many pillows we need to grab. But basically I just send clothes, I send diapers, and then we need to go to the dollar store. I'm gonna get a multi-pack of cheap toothbrushes. So we'll send those toothbrushes just for those few days and some toothpaste just for those few days, just a little travel size. And that uh, means that we don't have to remember to pack toothbrushes when we're getting out of the house. And then we also don't have to remember to bring all the toothbrushes back home. Because for some reason, that seems to be the one hard thing to remember to pack. So we'll send cheap toothbrushes that they'll use for a few days and can just throw away. So we'll go to the dollar store tomorrow and pick up some of the extras that we need. For packing each kid, what I found has worked the best for me is Walmart bags, actually, or just grocery sacks. We have everybody's clothes all separated by child, all folded. I'm going to put it in the grocery set. I'm going to squeeze out extra air. And we'll use a permanent marker just to write their names on top so it's easy to tell um, in the bag whose is whose. The kids, the kids know whose clothes is whose, so it's also pretty easy. There it is packed. The clothes will all stay together in their bags so that when you turn the suitcase right side up to roll it, everything doesn't just all mix up. So real easy to tell whose clothes are whose clothes. So let's pack my hospital bag. So I'm hijacking Sam's duffel bag because I really like it. Um, he got this for work and it's super heavy duty. It's like canvas, feels almost like an army bag and it's got some like leather, probably fake leather. It wasn't that expensive, but it, feels really heavy duty and nice and durable and much nicer than the little rinky dink bag I have so I'm hijacking his um, and it and we'll just share a bag I don't pack very much for myself in the hospital um, so I've had multiple home births and when you have home births there's a lot of prep that goes in into it and a lot of like packing things and making sure you have like certain like medicines and sanitizing products and uh, like all your postpartum stuff that you're gonna need like on hand um, I felt like I was prepping a month before for my home birth putting together like a birth box and most of the stuff you don't even end up using but you need to have just in case so it is kind of nice with the hospital births that you really don't need anything that you could just show up at the hospital and they're really gonna have everything that you need but I do like to pack just a couple things I'm not real big on bringing all the comforts of home with me um, I find that I'm pretty comfortable, you know, just with whatever the hospital has, but I'll show you what I do pack. I definitely do not overpack, and most people bring more things than I bring, but let me show you. Now, first I will say there are two things that you absolutely must have in your hospital bag, and they are chapstick, because there is nothing worse than being somewhere 
and having chapped lips and not having chapstick. I know this from experience. Our daughter was in the hospital for like a week, um, six, not even six months ago, probably four months ago. And uh, I didn't pack any chapstick, didn't think about it. And by day three, oh my gosh, my lips, must I must have looked like a mummy. I finally had to ask one of the nurses if they had any chapstick. She brought me some Vaseline because that's what they had, but never again. So definitely packing chapstick. And the other thing is, a phone charger. If I had nothing else packed, these two things, that's really only the essentials that I would be disappointed if I didn't have in the hospital. So we definitely have those. Now for other things though, I do pack um, a few clothes. So I don't, I'm not big on like, some people like buying their own birthing gowns and that's totally cool. I feel like it's kind of a waste of money. Hospital gowns do not bother me at all. And so um, I don't pack anything like that, but I do like to pack um, one pair of just kind of like jammy sweats in case I feel like the hospital is kind of cold, especially with it being winter. I don't pack um, extra socks or uh, like extra underwear or anything like that because after you have a baby, you're going to be wearing those hospital diapers anyway, and they give you the socks with the scrubbies on the bottom so you don't slip and fall. So I pack one pair of jammy sweats, and then I pack one pair of like legging jammy t-shirt kind of outfit thing to wear home. I'm not big on getting all cute before I leave to go home because you just had a baby and I'm tired and I just want to be comfortable. So kind of a pair of sweats in case the hospital is a cold and a couple or a pair of lighter jammy or legging type clothes um, in case the hospital is warm and whichever I don't wear on that second day in the hospital, I will wear home. So that's kind of my plan there. I do pack one pair of socks for the ride home and I do pack one nursing bra too for the for the ride home basically for when you are out in public and have to look kind of put together as far as clothes and things like that goes that is all I pack and then I do like having um my own shampoo kind of because I have super long hair as you all know it goes way down my butt so messing with the shampoo that works for me isn't my favorite thing so this, um, I actually just wash and refill these containers all the time. So I just have like my shampoo that I use at home. I refilled this travel size container. My conditioner I use at home, just refilled this old container. And then I have some um, like body wash that I like at home that I refilled that container. And we'll bring those with us for taking a shower postpartum. But if you don't want to pack your own soap and shampoo, they will give you soap at the hospital. It's just not, it's probably just gonna be a bar soap. And I just have a travel size deodorant, travel size toothbrush, toothpaste and I have a little kid's uh, extra toothbrush. Um, I'm not going to pack my actual toothbrush in case I forget it or something or forget to bring it with me. It's just easier to have everything packed. I don't have to worry about running around and grabbing, you know, my full size deodorant or my full size toothpaste or toothbrush. Like I have all this extra stuff in the bag, so it's all packed. So we'll put that all in a Ziploc bag so nothing leaks. And then for the baby, um, so the hospital provides anything that you could need for the baby. They give you diapers and wipes and you take the extras home with you. They give you swaddling blankets. You take the extras home with you. So you don't really need really anything. They will give you clothes for the baby in the hospital too, usually just like a onesie. Um, so I'm just going to pack one outfit for the ride home. I'm not big on super cute ride home outfits. And mostly for this baby, it's because it's going to be the middle of winter. It's very cold and so I just want the baby to be warm so I just have a little sleeper for the baby that we're gonna pack nice and fuzzy and warm and then just in case she manages to poop through that in the 10 minutes after you put her in the car seat and put her in the car I have a backup one too just in case but as far as in the hospital I just leave the babies in whatever the hospital gives them it's usually some sort of like looks like a wrap onesie it makes it real easy for the doctor to listen to their heart and stuff you can dress your baby in the hospital if you want to some people like to but I prefer to pack really light because that way when I get home it's really easy to unpack and just worrying about getting to resting if you're on any medications you don't pack those with you because the doctor will prescribe them for you in the hospital and they'll give them to you out of the hospital pharmacy so there's no reason to pack your regular prescriptions um, even like your prenatal vitamins and I take some supplements like I take extra magnesium and calcium and vitamin D um, those always just get prescribed and then brought up to the room for me so I don't even bother I don't pack any of that stuff because um, that's taken care of in the hospital 
As far as Sam goes, I don't pack for him, so my husband will pack for himself. I've left, there's plenty of room in this bag, like I did not pack that much, so he will pack clothes for himself. I don't pack, uh, a lot of people pack like husband snacks and things like that. I used to do that several babies ago I tried, but he doesn't want to eat while I'm in labor usually feels like it's rude to eat in front of me and actually wouldn't bother me at all. I tell him that every time, like, you, you can eat if you're hungry, I don't care. But, so I don't pack anything because it doesn't get eaten and I don't mind hospital food and um, so I'll just order, you know, hospital food while I'm there. So I don't, I don't pack food. A lot of people bring coolers. If that's something that you want, you want food from home or you're on a special diet and you don't know that you want you don't know if the hospital will be able to accommodate that. Obviously you can bring your own food. I don't bother. Cause again, that's something else that I would need to unpack and clean when I get home. I don't want to bother with that. So keep it pretty simple. That's all I'm bringing for me. That's it. Okay. There we have it. Bag for the kids with a note. So I don't forget the other medicine that Annie needs that can't be prepacked. And also that I still need to put toothbrushes in there for them. And then there's this Back that bag, I've packed my stuff. It's up to Sam to pack his, and he can put it in there whenever he wants to. And if he wants to be running around like crazy, jamming things in there at the last minute, that's totally up to him. Uh, but he's usually pretty good about planning ahead. I'm sure he'll pack it today or tomorrow, and then it'll be all ready to go. Fortunately, this time around, we don't have any large livestock because we're not keeping the dairy. We didn't keep the dairy goats, um, and we butchered all of our meat animals before winter. So the only thing we have are our free-range chickens, ducks, and geese, which can pretty much take care of themselves while we're gone. Um, Sam will probably come home one time to check on them. Our dog will go with the girls um, to Grandma's house, so she'll be taken care of there. So as far as the farm goes, it's actually pretty low maintenance, which is nice because we've had several babies where we've had animals that needed milked while I was in the hospital and Sam was like driving back and forth all the time and the hospital's like an hour away. So it's a big commitment. So this time we pared it way down so it'd be real simple. That's all for today. I'm gonna go put these in our room so that they're ready to go along with the baby car seat. I'm gonna sit the duffel bag right in the baby's car seat so I don't forget to grab the car seat. We're not gonna preload the car seat because I'm not 100% which vehicle will end up at the hospital. It'll depend whether uh, we need to get there in a hurry and take the girls with, to the hospital with us until grandma can meet us there or if we have time to get the girls to the hospital and leave the van. So we're gonna just leave the car seat with the duffel bag so we can figure out which vehicle it needs to end up in by the time we get to the hospital and then we'll be good to go. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys real soon.